Now I'm going to show you how to give your old laminate bench top a facelift. You'll need to use all four products in the White Knight Laminate Bench Top Painting System. Tile and Laminate Cleaner, Tile and Laminate Primer, Laminate Paint and Bench Top Clear. Calculate the amount of paint you need by multiplying the length of your bench top by the width. That will give you your square meterage. With L-shaped bench tops, divide the bench top into two sections to measure, then add together. Now divide the total area by the paint coverage per square metre. This will give you the litres of paint required for each coat. Protect any areas you don't want painted by covering them with drop sheets and painter's tape. First of all, you'll need to clean the bench top. Spray white night tile and laminate cleaner 20 centimetres from the surface and wipe with a clean wet sponge or a lint free cloth. Just doing a small area at a time. It's essential for a good finish that the surface, including the sides, is prepared properly and thoroughly clean of any grease, soap scum, dirt or any other contaminants. If the stains and grease are stubborn, leave the cleaner on for up to 30 seconds and use a scratch resistant plastic scourer. When the bench is dry, give it a light sand with 240 grit sandpaper to etch the surface. Make sure that any cracks or chips have been repaired, leaving a smooth, flat surface. Then rinse it thoroughly with clean water to remove all sanding dust. If necessary, repeat the cleaning process until the bench is squeaky clean. When the surface is completely dry, we need to prime it. White Night Tile and Laminate Primer is quick drying and provides great adhesion to smooth surfaces. And now give the primer a good stir. Pour your primer into your roller tray to about halfway. Makes it a lot easier to load your roller. Submerge your roller a little less than halfway and give your roller a tiny tap on the roller tray before painting. This will get rid of any drips. First paint the edges and areas around sinks or stoves using a brush. Then apply one even smooth coat to the surface using a microfiber roller. A microfiber roller will give you a nice smooth finish and won't splatter or leave any lint or fluff behind. Apply primer thinly in a zigzag motion to get good cover. Then do a last roll all in one direction. Make sure the surface is completely coated. When the top is finished, do the sides of the bench last. Saves you leaning on wet paint. When done, wash roll and tray in soap and water straight away. Primer will be touch dry in an hour, but wait until it's completely dry before applying your top coat. This should take around four hours. Now for the laminate paint top coat. White Knight Laminate Paint includes Microband to help protect against mould and mildew. It has a hard wearing satin finish and can be tinted to the colour of your choice. We've tinted our laminate paint the Torbman's Inkwell colour. Give your laminate paint a good stir with a broad flat stirrer in a circular lifting motion. As with the primer, first use your brush to apply paint to the edges and areas around the sink or stove. Then apply your first coat to the main surface area with a microfiber roller. Don't put it on too thickly. Apply in the same zigzag pattern as the primer. When you've got a good coat, do a last roll without reloading it. Rolling in the one direction from top to bottom will deliver the best finish. Don't forget to do the sides. Your first coat should be touch dry in about two hours. Wait till it's completely dry before you recoat. That'll be about six hours. Here's a tip. While you're waiting for your first coat to dry, wrap your brush and roller in plastic. That'll stop them going hard. So when you're ready for the next coat, you can use them straight away. When the first coat is dry, give the bench a light sand using 600 grit wet and dry sandpaper. When you finish, remove all sanding dust by wiping over the surface with a clean wet sponge or lint free cloth and allow to dry. Now give the paint another good mix, then apply your second coat the same way you did the first, making sure you finish off with a nice even roll all in the one direction so the finish is smooth. As soon as you have finished, clean your roller and brush in Rustguard solvent. The paint will be dry after about 8 hours, but you need to leave it for 24 hours before applying a protective coating of White Knight Bench Top Clear. Bench Top Clear is a tough clear coating that is necessary to protect painted laminate bench tops from heat, chemicals and stains. Now give your bench top a wipe over with a slightly damp lint free cloth or a sponge to make sure it's thoroughly clean, then let it dry. Stir part A of Bench Top Clear thoroughly with a broad flat stirrer in a circular lifting motion. We're not going to need the whole pack for the first coat, so using a calibrated measuring container, mix part A to part B. The mixing ratio is two parts A to one part B by volume. It's really important to get this right for maximum product performance. So stir the mixture well for a good five minutes. 
and give it regular stirs while you're using it. Now the mixture will only stay good for about an hour, so no mucking around. As with your paint, use a brush to cut in around the edges and areas around the sink or stove. Then coat the bench top with a foam roller using sweeping strokes to put the paint on in one direction and lay off in the opposite direction, evenly spreading the coating. Finish off evenly with a nice smooth roll all in the one direction. And do your edges last. Your first coat will be touch dry in about an hour, but leave it at least eight hours before you recoat. Clean up your brush and roller with water straight away. Now for your second coat, you need to mix a new batch of benchtop clear exactly the same way you did the first coat. Apply the second coat in the same way. Paint around the edges first with a brush and finish off evenly with a smooth roll all in the one direction, doing the sides last. When finished, clean up your brushes and equipment with water straight away. Now don't use your bench top for 48 hours. Maximum hardness will take up to seven days, so keep your usage light for that time. For a complete kitchen restoration, paint your tiles and your laminate cupboards using White Knight tile paint and White Knight laminate paint. It's easy. Check out the White Knight How to Paint Ceramic Tiles and How to Paint Laminate Cupboards videos on YouTube or the White Knight website at whitenightpaints.com.au. While you're there, you can find more info on products, colours and application or ask your paint specialist. Mm -hmm.